Okay, here we are. Uh, well, this could be your re re rebuttal. This is my reply to the big homie, RTM 1986. Yeah. Just seen your video. And I think you was a little too harsh on him because you got to remember, we in the sport, see, we contradict ourselves. When it comes to boxing, we contradict it so many times that it's crazy. What is boxing? One minute I hear is a sweet science. Next minute I hear is hit, don't get hit. Next minute I hear is this and that. Oh, we got to have a heart of a warrior. This, that, the third. But don't forget, though, we are in a sport where what? And everybody knows this. One punch changes a fight. It's not just for heavyweights. One yeah. punch changes a fight. I saw a middleweight fight. I was back in, like, I want to say the 80s, early 90s. It was about a middleweight named Castro. Against this, I can't remember his other than name. Castro was cut on the both eyes, deep cuts. Fight should have been stopped. And the guy backs Castro up into the corner, you know, up into the ropes. And the guy starts, you know, treating him like a punching bag. And even the, um, and even the uh, commentator said, "Damn, it's like a, it's like a punching bag out there." And Castro just throws a real wild left, the same one. Garcia threw that. Garcia didn't even see the punch land. That's what's crazy. Castro didn't see his punch land. Knocks the guy out cold. The guy gets up, stumbles around because we're in the sport. So, to a degree, don't we feel like we're being a little too hard because, like, okay, I understand the con hype and I understand this and that and the third, but don't forget, everybody say, oh, um, Maidana rocked him. Don't forget, Maidana is a power puncher. I don't care about the toughness of your chin. If you get in there with Maidana, Kind of glass jaw ish to me, whoever it is. Whoever is your new Maidana, because you know Maidana can land a good solid punch and that's it. And don't say, oh, because look what he did to Victor Ortiz, Jesus. Victor kept getting up on to get right back down. And I think that we're being a little too hard on Khan. Okay, yes, whatever, he got caught. I think he was careless. If you watch the first two fights, how many of you guys was changing the channel after the first two rounds? How many of you guys rest for the controller? Like, oh, here we go. He's, going, he's getting his ass whooped. This, that, and the third. And then he gets hit. We, but, that's, that's the sport we in. From MMA to whatever it is. But that's, that's the, the equivalent. Sport. What you're arguing is that's the equivalent of saying, oh, well, I would love to play defense. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't feel like it tonight. And Kobe go ahead and score 30 on me. Which I'm trying to say, but I am better than Kobe. Is if LeBron don't play def defense for the night. Be like, well, I know Kobe's better than me. Or I know I'm better than Kobe, but I ain't going to play no defense tonight. I mean, as a fighter, that is your responsibility to not get caught with them shots as a fighter. As a fighter, as a fighter, you taking the guy easy. That's your fault. And then, second, and then after that, when you do get hit and it's shown... History of getting hit, because I've seen when Margarito hit Pacquiao with this big-ass shot. Remember, Margarito, much bigger than him, hit him with a clean uppercut. And I didn't see him wobble around the ring, stumble, falling over himself. I mean, I've seen people get hit hard, and they, and they do it. But him, whenever we see him get hit hard, he don't really get up too much. Like, he, he just be... Well, I mean, he show it. I mean, well, how many times you see Pac get hit and he like just laid out? You never really see it. That's that's true and all, but if you want to get technical, honestly, when I seen a lot of times he got hit cleanly, was when he was on the inside and was just his jaw was hanging there. Cause come come because because honest with you, the cleanest people I seen hit Pacquiao. Yeah, I see Margarito hit him, but Margarito. Didn't knock out Cotto with one punch, even with the, even with the bricks in the hand. Uh, agree. Okay. So, I mean, I'm every sick. time I see this kid get hit, he get hit with the real shit. And anybody that follows boxing knows that left motherfucking hook that you don't never ever see coming is the one that got them put anybody. To but see. you're you're excusing him for putting himself in that situation as a great boxer. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm not excusing anything. I'm saying. just no. I'm not. I'm not trying to excuse anything. Again, I feel like you got to look in the sport. Boxing is what hit, don't get hit. But yes. at the end of the day, though, boxing is one punch could change something. Agree. And because a, because okay okay you know what we gonna get technical now. We 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 gonna go into history books. We gonna get everybody's favorite world's greatest. And you can go and check um, the homie what seventy eight finals. I think he made a page some about Ali. And okay, let's go Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, the Mister Sucker for the left hook. 
You know he actually got knocked out early in his career? And guess who saved him? The great Angelo Dundee. He picked him up. Uh, I forgot what he did in his corner. I think that was the fight where he, I think, untied Ali's boxing shoes or... No, no, it was a smelling salt. It was a smelling salt. Ali was a sucker to the left hand. You can go watch all his tapes. Anybody with a great left hook put Ali on his ass. Early career, he was out. He was out. I counted 10. I counted 10 when he got up. He was out. He got dragged to the corner, smelling salt, and he ran the rest of that fight. Yes. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, and that's the greatest, right? He's the smartest guy ever in boxing, right? Yeah, but he learned from it, didn't he? Learned? This was early in his career. He yeah. got he, the same left hook put him, the same, um, what's they put him down, though? The same left hook, no, that's not, that's the only fight. That's not the only fight. If you watch a lot of his fights, he was still a sucker to that left hook. I promise you. Agreed, but okay, I okay, you. okay. Here's the and thing. Wait, 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 wait. It's not feel like you're trying to excuse the fact that just because he stood up well to it. Exactly. It was, it, okay, that's an excuse? Yes. That's a proper excuse? Yes. You know why? No, that's an excuse. excuse. You know why that's an why, excuse? Why is it proper excuse? No, that's excuse because here's, here's that's the thing. That's very contradictory. No, that's not contradictory. Here's the yes, thing. Yes, it is. Here's the thing. If, Go ahead. if. If, if if Ali yeah, got like mm -hmm. if you say he was a sucker to it, mm -hmm. right? But he was able to get back into it, and in many fights he was able to to to, to win the fights, right? Because he everybody he ain't the greatest because he lost a lot. He the greatest because he won, and he in the big in the big lights and the big stage he won. Uh, so so he was a sucker for it, right? Yeah. And he got hit by it, but yet he was able to overcome those things and win. Amir Khan, when he's a sucker for it, he don't come back for it because he got hit in the well, it would the in the third mm -hmm. round, right? Mm -hmm. He had a, he had enough time to, to recoup himself in, mm -hmm. in, in, in the in the mm -hmm. thing, then to come back and in, in the next well, round and recoup himself. Okay, he's still getting okay, hit. Okay, no, well, no, no, okay, but check this out though. But check this out. Though. Okay, it's what. It's what on that fight. And I'm not making no excuse though. It's from what I saw. And that fight, I, I saw the fight again for the third time today. Today, yeah. the third time seeing it. I'm not trying to make no excuses for Amir Khan at all. What I'm trying to say is the way he went about that round, the fourth round. Yeah. I think that fourth. I think I think had Amir Khan did exactly what I told you in my first video. Had he either would have been grabbing him and power slamming his ass to the floor, or simply run. Just run, 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 run. But his leg is wobbly. No, no. See, that's the thing, though. Watch the fight again. Why? I don't want anybody pitching to the fight again. Amir Khan was backed him up. I'm not making no excuses. Backed yeah. him up three different times. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, had Amir Khan, because first of all, um, he couldn't catch Amir Khan when Amir Khan was doing the whole run and jumping in the end. When you pay attention, it's when Amir Khan get too overconfident, mm -hmm. and that happens a lot. He got too overconfident. And stood in there in that pocket. Every time I see, every time I see McKenna get pop is when he gets so overconfident and he stay in that pocket with you. Yeah. I would admit he ain't good in the pocket. I'm not. Like I said, the point is, I'm trying to make. I'm trying to. I'm not trying to make no excuses about anything. And that's the difference between like how why I feel like MMA be how the fans be how they be after they fight compared to our fighters because I feel like we soon as we something happen, ah oh, garbage, 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 discredit, discredit, discredit. Because like, like I said though, it's a little, history. It's a lot of history. Okay then. Prime example. Everybody named Mama loved Thomas Hearns. Everybody yeah. named Mama do. Yeah. Hitman Hearns, right? Yeah. Let me tell you this. Thomas Hearns had like seven losses. And okay. guess what? And guess what? Only one of them went the distance. His losses. So he knocked out a few times. Agree. Agree. Okay. So Grant, what Grant, here's, here's the thing. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. Ain't no thing. Do you love him any less? Huh? Do you love him any less? Of course not. But here, here's what I come in though. Do he, you do you put him up in the upper echelons uh, 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 ahead of like the uh, you put him over the sugar, the sugar Ray Leonard's? Or do you put him over over the Hagler's? Do you put him over the uh, what's that uh, uh, Robert Durant? Like yes, he was great, but be, but because of those, you're not gonna you're not you're not gonna leapfrog him over them other guys. I'm gonna say like uh, Mir Khan. I say he, he's a pretty good fighter, but you're not gonna leapfrog him over uh, Floyd or or over uh, or over Pacquiao. You're not going to do that. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that he is career completely over, but you're not gonna leapfrog. So at the end, like ten years from now, we're gonna say yeah, I think Mir Khan was much better than Floyd. Will you say that? No, you're not gonna say that. Don't get me wrong. What I say, what I say, he's gonna be better than that. This, this is gonna make a lot of people mad. It's just my opinion. You can get mad if you want to. Honestly, Amir Khan, like Zab Judah, got better. Is more naturally gifted than Floyd. Yeah, you, know, you can be naturally gifted, but the no, thing no. Though, I mean, it's all about how you use it. I yeah, that's the point you get exactly. To, but, but what I'm trying to say to you, this though, what the, you're still missing the point though. What's the name? Is a legend, correct? Who? Tommy Hearns is a legend, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, what's this other guy's name? Uh, shit, 154 pounder for a long time. Uh, he even beat Sugar Ray but Sugar Ray is old. Uh, shit. Um, Terry Norris, 10 yeah. losses. Yeah. He, he, he's a boxing hall of famer. Yeah. 
Look at one. This, you saying the Hall of Famer, but are okay. they are they up in the? Because because okay. even the Hall of Famer have have a special wing for the great, for the best of the best, and them them two guys are not in that wing of the best of the not? best. Why they not? Why they because not? they're not that. They they're, they're not. They're not. The only that. person Hearns did not beat was um. Only person Hearns did not beat was Hacker. Yeah, but yet if you look at his career, it it, it was he not. He came as, back, beat beat Leonard in the rematch. He came back and beat um. He, I mean, he beat. He beat, uh, I mean, he, want to talk about Granite Chin? Want to talk about Granite Chin? This, did you did you see what he did to a prime Ver, 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 Roberto Duran? True. About what? Well, what, what, it goes back to what I said, though, about the one punch, though. Agreed. He caught Roberto Duran coming in, boom, solid right hand. Gra this is prime Roberto Duran. Not no, not no 40, not no 38. This is yeah. prime. Roberto Duran, who got not flayed out. And basically, I'm trying to point is, is I feel like, I feel like, due to like, I feel like how it is in boxing now, due to all the hype, due to everything or whatever, you know, I feel like due to all the hype, due to everything or whatever, I feel like a lot of people, a lot of fans, a lot of everybody is flip floppers in my opinion because like, because I, I I feel that way because like when Amir Khan went on that win streak where he beat Zag, beat Malanaji, he beat a few people, he beat Maidana. Matter of fact, when he beat Maidana. You know, I thought all that shit stopped because everybody was like, yeah, he got hurt. He pulled his heart. He pulled the fight out. This and that, the third when he fought Peterson. Mm -hmm. The same thing. He he got deed up in the corner and all that. I still think he won but, that fight. But but but, but this, is, this is the thing. As a champion, as a Hall of Famer, don't get me wrong. It's great to, to like you said, he has those matches where he... He he did get rocked or whatever, right? And he, he he overcame it and he showed that. But it's the thing, it's the problem though. But there's a problem when you're constantly getting put in them situations. It's like don't get me wrong. The, the, in a situation where you're like, okay, he's getting rocked and you're constantly like, oh, oh man, is he done for? Oh, we be able to escape this one. Okay, but I'm gonna say that. Not okay. every fighter will go through every match clean. Don't get me wrong. Every fighter gonna have gonna have their dog fight. Same thing with Floyd. Floyd had a dog fight with Cotto, right? But yet he, he he got through it. But with, boy, boy, it seems like with with Khan, with every tougher opponent, it seems like he's always getting into these dog fights, and it's like your old question: Wow, will he get out of this one? I don't. Well, look, no, he, he, no, well, he got no, he got dropped again. No, no, I honestly I don't. I mean, that's just how I feel about it. Honestly, I don't because I felt like again. I think that we undervalue certain people just because of Amir Khan's name. That's the problem. It's the same way like once you hear Floyd fighting. Let me tell you something like this, man. Let me just let me just break it down to everybody like this, just to make it point point blank. Period. If Floyd Mayweather was to fight Mike Tyson, we know Mike Tyson had the power advantage. Yeah. You look at seriously. We got to really start looking at stuff for what it is. When he fought Mike Don, he got that he got that predicament. You're dealing with a guy that everybody and their mama know. Could knock out a bull with a jab. We know this shit yeah. about Maidana. He got what, what like thirty something wins, like almost thirty knockouts, mm -hmm. thirty two wins, almost thirty knockouts. Just, just like, just like Lucas Matisse. Basically, what I'm trying to say is like people say all the time. You got boxers where they can really change a fight with one punch, like Prime Prime Mosley, Prime Mosley. Because honest with you. Um, Prime with you, you know, like certain fights, just like, just like with Prime Mosley, just like that. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like you fought Maidana, you got caught clean by Maidana, you know, seriously. Maidana, come on, just make a back up a truck, man, with a jab. We all know this. And I think based on his name, we devalue it because, like, we feel like Amir Khan. And it's no, I think the sad part is people are more upset. It's, it's the LeBron James syndrome. People know. He has the skill set, the right tooling, the right everything, or whatever, whatnot. And just because, like, he got put in them predicaments or whatever, people, I think people, I think we feel, we, we, I think it's more hurt than it is, if anything. Because, honestly, if anybody saw the first two rounds of that fight, I bet you a lot of people, because, matter of fact, me and you, during the first two rounds, we was having a conversation about something completely different. Until I turned around and said, damn, this man, they got dropped. That's when we focused on the fight, and that was the God honest truth. Even I was like, damn, well, uh, I mean, I'm not going to sleep on the kid, but kid just really seemed very outclassed right now. Yeah. So I kind of feel like, based on certain hypes and certain names, we kind of devalue it or whatever. But like I said, as far as Maidana fight, when he got hurt, come on, Maidana could back up a truck. We all know that. Um, as far as the, um, the, the, as far as the Lamont Peterson, 
hell, the steroid thing came out, and I still felt he pulled the fight off with with the two points deducted or whatever, or not in this fight or whatever. Just plain and simple. I think it's like this. How do first of all, how can we all first of all, nobody knows shit about Danny Garcia. We gotta start saying that. We don't know shit about the motherfucker. Only way I knew about him was when he fought Morales. After that fight, I Googled the kid. He's from Philly. He got he took a lot of advice from Bernard Hopkins, a lot of Philly legends. He's hard nosed. We don't know shit about the guy. So for us to sit there and say, oh, who's Danny? Who's this? Who's that? We don't know how hard this kid really could punch. There's fighters, there's fighters a lot we undervalue. There's fighters we there's greats we undervalue. Prime example, Terry Norris. Terrible Terry Norris was always, was always undervalued ever. He got he got 10 losses. He got knocked out a few times too. And he was always undervalued. And Terry Norris was one of them, Terry Norris was one of them rare breeds. Just like when he fought John the Beast Mugabe. Everybody, we got this on DVD, you saw it. Everybody was like, oh, John the Beast Mugabe? Shit. He just gave Marvin Hagler the toughest fight of his career. You know, this will be a C fighter, a, a, a B plus fighter at his best. Yeah. John the Beast Mugabe. He's with Terry Norris. What happened? Terry Norris threw a clean right hand, and that was the end of him. So I think there's a lot of legends to this day we don't even know about. We don't, a lot of people don't even know about Terry Norris. He's a Hall of Famer. A lot of people don't know about Basically, what I'm trying to say is I feel like we get lost in some people's hypes or whatever, and we undervalue the person he fights. But for all we know, seriously, you know how we're going to know, and like I told you this already, you know how we're going to know, we're going to see what happens to him next. The same way, who the fuck knew who Jermaine Taylor was? We didn't know. All we knew was he beat Bernard Hopkins. Everybody said that. You old. You old. Yeah, he old now. You know, this this kid, this young kid beat him. Look where they at now. Basically, what I'm trying to say is maybe we got caught up in the hype. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, for people to sit here, act like they knew everything about Danny Garcia, trust me, a lot of people, lot of people don't even know that he was from Philly. True. A lot of people don't even know that. And I think that, I'm not, I'm not, trying, to, I'm not trying to unexcuse Amir Khan. I think it's the me with Amir Khan, with Amir Khan. I think it's the hurt syndrome because I see in him what I saw in LeBron for a long time, and you knew me last year. I yeah. was dogging LeBron. I was like, "Man, you on the Heat? You got way? You didn't win? Fuck that shit!" I was I was devaluing him, but then you know, then LeBron figured it out. Who's who's to say? Maybe Amir Khan is maybe this maybe this loss is what he needed for him to say, tell himself, "Dude, I got a long way to go before I get on Pacquiao Mayweather level." Yeah. Maybe this will shut them up. Not every, not, 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 not everybody path when everybody road is the same. Nobody exactly. path the same. Exactly. But I say this though, until I can clearly say, everybody can say, until he proved to me that his chin is otherwise, we will see. If first, I, it's just still to be still to be determined. And then to me, I don't really feel that's a good thing to say because I feel like again, before all this Danny Garcia stuff popped off, before anything popped off, you know what I'm saying. As a matter of fact. Everybody in their mama was giving him praise and giving him all this respect when when Tim Bradley, who's to this day, people still call him the best 140 pounder, clearly ducked him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I feel like, okay, that's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. It's so flip floppish. You know, at least I'm a ride with the guy. I kinda dogged him because I was kind of like I say, I was more hurt when I dogged him, really. Yeah. Because I see the skill set. Five foot eleven and a half. Hand speed incredible. This and the third. He's an incredible body puncher. I don't know why. He never goes to the body. The way he dropped Maidana with a body shot like that, mm. I don't know why. But, you know, I was more hurt about it. I'm not making no excuse for the kid or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to make no excuse. I feel like still, though, we can't unexcuse what we said because the same way, one one punch changed everything. You know, who the fuck thought a guy named Rockman would have knocked out Lennox Lewis? Who thought, you know what I'm saying, who would have thought that? Yeah. Who would have thought that? You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, though, I think I think we still, no matter what I'm saying, I think we still on the value because we feel like, Oh, he on this high ass level because hell, Ali in my opinion, and I only saw the first two fights with him and um, Sonny Liston. That's Sonny Liston. Uh, uh, Ken moment? Norton. Ken Norton. I clearly seen Ali was faster than him and everything. Yeah. But it was a level of intensity that Ken Norton bought that Ali couldn't just. Oh. You got one. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to discredit nothing about Ali. I love Ali too. I'm just trying to say sometimes I think we get caught up in stuff. Just the same way, man. Seriously, man. Every time from for, for the next five years, if it's 